Welcome aboard our show. The flight that you're going to have a lifetime on. Now to fasten your seat belts, grab the two ends and put them together. And to tighten, get the loose end of your seat belt and tug it gently. Now to unfasten your seat belt, lift up the metal flap and pull to pull apart. Not not the metal belt, of course, the, the strap. And to open and close your window blinds, put put the window pull the window blinds down and pull the window blinds all up. Store your tray table and put your tray table down. Unpeg the tray table and let it fall down. To put it up, push it up and peg the tray table. To put down your cup holder, pull it down and push it back up. To put your armrests up, push them up. But we advise you to put them down for now. So push them down. Now, now in case of a water landing, there will be a life jacket... In an economy seat under your seat, in a business class seat, in your armrest, or behind your TV screen in a first class seat. Take it out of the patch where it'll pouch that it'll be in and put it over your head. Put the pouch back where you found it. If you're in an economy seat, throw it anywhere. We'll tidy it up after this plane sunk. Now, put it over your head and do a brace position. While your seatbelt is fastened. Now when we hit the water. Unfasten your seatbelt. And when you're told to get out. Get out of the aircraft. And only inflate your life vest. When outside of the aircraft. And to do that. Pull on the red toggles. As demonstrated. And even breathe in to. The tubes on each shoulder. To breathe, The reason you should breathe into these tubes. Is either if you just want to breathe into them, or for topping up, or for inflation, if the red cords did not work. Which is very unlikely, of course, in or aerosol technology. And a light will come on when you're in water. And there's a whistle to attract attention. Now, the following brace position. Please follow the following brace positions in any emergency landing. Legs apart. Head down as low as you can. Hands behind your head, and elbows touching your thighs. I'll probably bring your head lower, because that's the case for me. Another brace position for, I don't know, old people who cannot put their backs down low enough. Heads on the seat in front of you. Arms behind your head, and elbows touching the seat in front of you. Now, please stop laughing at that joke I said five seconds ago. Now, in case of a depressurization announcement, finish event an ugly looking let's call it mask will come down from this flat plastic thing above your head and to start the flow of oxygen pull towards your mouth and nose and put the plastic strap behind your head like what else would you do and tighten it by the other plastic ends on each end like i don't i don't know how hard it is and if a child needs assistance Tell them, don't give them assistance. Okay, I'm only joking. Give them assistance after you've done yourself. Now, our flight is about to commence. So, we advise you to put your window blinds open. Like I told you five seconds ago. Put your tray tables up. Told you five seconds ago. Put And to put your cup holder up. Told you five seconds ago. Make sure your armrests are down. Told you five seconds ago. And your seatbelts are fastened. You should know how to do this already. And our cabin crew will come around with the final checks. Then the questions while this final check are not needed for now. The toilets are currently closed while we're about to taxi and even take off. Thank you for travelling with Air Sol. And now, remember, we sell poop for uh, £0 um, or any other bank currency, by the way, uh, if you just want some of that.